Question for you. Do you love coffee? Do you love playing cozy games? I will assume so because you are here. I am so excited about the game that I'm going to show you today. It is called Coffee Caravan. Yes, you have a coffee caravan where you can make coffee and it's so cute and so cozy and I'm really excited to show you that now. So I'm going to transition over and let's get into Coffee Caravan. So first I'm going to show you just some of the custom, like the character customization. You can kind of see here how you can change like your outfit. Very, very minimal, but still, still cute. Um, I like this. You got some aprons, some little skirt aprons, but they go like all the way around. So that's funny. Um, but I'm going to stick with this, but you can change skin color. You can be flat or not flat. <laughs> um, and then you have your different hairstyles. I like this little, this little bun that I got going on. And then there's just some different accessories. You can have some earrings, maybe a flower crown. You know what? Let's do a flower crown. Um, and then I'm gonna show you uh, this, because I think when you're creating a game initially, when you first play this game, you're only gonna have access to Coffee World. Once you get all of the recipes in Coffee World, you will then unlock Tea World. Um, so that's just kind of how it works to like unlock the next thing. Um, so when you first start playing this game, you will not have access to Tea World. You will only have access to Coffee World. But um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go through all of this. Uh, okay, so let's, you know what? Let's be difficult. But I'm going to start from scratch because I think that will be easier than like walking you straight into a game that I have already like progressed pretty far in. Not pretty far, but okay. So we're moving around. Okay, I'm going to pick up the coffee, put it in the grinder, hit control. By the way, this also works with controller. I'm going to let this connect and show you that now instead of hitting spacebar, you're hitting A and instead of wait I didn't do it oh I need the cup and then instead of control um you're holding x and then you serve it drink it fast sir and then you just go over here put it in there and like I said because I'm on a controller now it's x instead of control so tutorial complete so this is your map that you get when you first start playing this game um basically the little three is you have a lot um the customers are a little bit more difficult um easier you can see the little legend over on the side um i love the treasure one because it just gives you free stuff that you don't have to pay for we love that you know what i'm just gonna make all around bad choices. So I'm going to start hard. Sorry for the kickback in my mic. Um, okay. So we need this. Gonna just put this. Mm, that's fine. And I'm not going to lie. I already forgot how to make an espresso. Don't tell anybody. Put my table out here little trash can gotta have my cups I feel like that'll be good there I'll put this there also so um you can rotate it is x to rotate and then um again if you're playing on your keyboard pick up with space hit control I kind of go in between the two, honestly, because I just, you know, I'm going to put that there instead. I just don't know how I feel sometimes. I'm like, do I want to use my keyboard or do I not want to use my keyboard? Anyways, okay. Let us start the day. Going to grab that water. Put that in there. Coffee. Grind it. The benefit of only having one thing is that they can only order one thing. So I can have it waiting on the table when they decide to show up. I am going to go ahead and make the next one. Mm. 
this is the thing because you only when you first start out you only have like two cups people they're so needy you know give you that coffee put it in the grinder put it over here i mean i guess i didn't need to do that because it already had water in it I think the water may last for like three. Yeah, because now there's one left. Man, my day is nowhere near done. Boo. That's what happens when you choose the more difficult. Here you go, ma'am. Have a little coffee. Just doing some dishes. Oh no. Oh no. I wasn't ready. It's fine. didn't grab it. I wonder if I'll have to make, I will. Dang it, water. It wasn't ready. This is the other thing is I cannot take that coffee over here while this, I'll show you because this is like, you physically cannot put it down. And so now you're screwed because you have to like go back and get it. And that will like really like get you in trouble later on when you're playing this game. If you don't figure that out ahead of time because many times I have lost and been sent back to the beginning because I did not um because I didn't clean off the tables um let me show you your treasure so I can get 35 I don't I guess they're like coffee points I don't know um or just money it's 35 money dollars um, and you will have the ability to buy things like recipes or different ingredients. Like I can get another bag of coffee beans, although I don't really know why I would need another bag of coffee beans. Um, a turbo sink, which um, basically just works a little bit faster. And so right now, because I only have a little bit, I'm going to get the turbo sink. Now I can go shopping. That's what this is. Customers or it's a mystery. Will I get to go shopping? Will I get treasure? Or will I get worse customers? All our options. Um, I'm going to show you that first so that you can see kind of what can come up. Oh, I got a free shop visit. So I ended up going to the shop. Anyways, I have 64 money dollars as I referred to them. Um, and you can kind of see like once I have the ability to unlock other recipes the one thing i will say about them is they are definitely more complicated because it's not just like you can kind of see it's like you're not just grinding espresso now you're also having to add milk and froth it which who doesn't love froth and some milk i i'm not gonna buy anything i'm gonna save my money dollars and i'm gonna leave this shop and then i'm gonna get sent to the shop again <sighs> Love it. So fun. Um, yeah, I still don't want anything. So, because I didn't gain any money. Oh, treasure. Wow, I'm just racking it up over here. Uh, I'll get money. So I'm going to switch my sink out. This is nice. You, if you hold it over top of something else, you can just switch it out. Once I discovered that, it was very nice. Um, so I'm good. I'm just going to go ahead and start the day. Water. Air. No, that's wrong. It's not. That's not what this is. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Because ain't nobody here yet. 
So just do all of the things at once. Now you'll see how much faster this is. So much faster. Because like I said, they can't order anything else right now. I know that that's what they'll want. I might open, mm, no, I'll just keep doing this one. I was going to say I might open my other world so, so you can see all the different ingredients and kind of what it can look like. Once you get more customers and you have more like different requests and all the different things, I get very confused very quickly and then I'm just like ruining stuff. I am my own worst enemy in this game, not the customers, me. Am I? That was weird. Um. My controller decided to crap out, so that's fun. Now that should be the last one of the day. Oops. I can't set that there. So basically what you're doing is you're kind of going through all of this to get up to an extreme day. And the extreme day is just like, there's so many people, they're nonstop, they have, they're waiting in a queue. And also like royalty shows up and demands not one, not two, but three drinks. It's the worst. Um, I'm gonna show you real fast. I wanna show you the tea world because I think it's super cute. Um, because I've unlocked a large caravan. So, which is that's when you get through the extreme day multiple times. Oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> I forgot how big it is. I have so many things. Um, so you can see I have green tea, real green tea. Do you know Scott Pilgrim? Which he's like, happy time and all of the different whatever. If you've seen Scott Pilgrim, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to tea. What do I need? Okay, I need green tea. Oh, there's so many. There's so many spaces. I'm a little overwhelmed. This is my first time actually opening the large caravan and moving stuff. Um, I guess there, that's where I'll put it. But I will put it next to the teapot. I'm a little teapot. Put my tables out. Uh, maybe like... And this one is fancier because it has a pink tablecloth. So obviously it's better. Need my honey. And I have so many teapots. But it makes sense, if you're making tea. Of course you have teapots. Obviously need water for tea because without that, how can you make tea? Uh, where's, okay, I need, get out of here. I need this for my Earl Grey. I'm more just showing this to you so that you can see like how far you have the ability to advance. And these things, you can see it says it's a 5% customer patience in queue. So it helps them have more patience, which we all could use, honestly. A little water fountain, a little, patient plant as it were don't yell at me um okay 
do I want the two? So these are dishwashers and they're amazing. Um, but they only like if you have a lot of cups, you can use this four. It doesn't start working until there's four of the cups in there. Um, but if you only have four cups, do not get that dishwasher. Don't do it because you will be left with no cups and then you'll have to manually do it and it takes forever. So I would recommend getting the two if you don't have enough cups and you're just trying to get through it faster. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use the four because I have 10 cups. And I'm gonna put it right here for when I enter. Okay, I need the sugar. Oh wait, I wanna do the same thing that I did on this side. You know, I'm all about uh, symmetry. I don't like that being there. Yeah, okay. Now we need our cups. Because how can you do anything without a cup? And put it on both sides. A little street lamp uh, means the customers will move through faster. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And then my little tree. Hmm. Where should we put the tree? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to switch. And we'll put mm, that there. You know what? This can go over here in the corner. Nice. Need. Also, if it has an exclamation point, it means that you absolutely need that and it will not let you play without those things. Um, so, like, this is just like a table. So, you could put something down in like a counter. Um, but, like I said, it will not. It will not let you start until you have that on there. Okay, there's that. Um, do I want more cups? Just to be safe? Like I don't need more cups, but maybe just to have them for fun. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let's start the day. Okay, so we need water for this. Oh, that is Lindsay. No, grab the wrong thing. And then you put the tea in first. And then you put hot water in there, so it'll make that for you. Uh, that you just want some Earl Grey. So I'll take that to you. Um, now I just wait. There's no real point in filling up cups because I don't know what people would want. So now I'm just chilling, waiting for people to show up. What would you like, ma'am? So she wants Earl Grey with sugar. There you go. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. They just want Earl Grey. What's with all the Earl Grey? Like, it's okay. You can have Earl Grey. You can also just pick up the hot water and carry it over if that's what you would prefer to do. Okay. What would you like? How about some green tea? I have some. Ooh, green tea and honey. There you go. This should give me my fourth cup and you'll see what I meant about um, dishwasher. See, just automatically runs it. It's a little slow, um, but it's great if you have a lot of cups and that, but you have to empty it before, um, oh, I have so much money to spend. Um, you have to empty it before you can start putting dishes in, dish out, you know what I'm saying. Do I have enough to finish my menu? Oh, I hope so. Okay. Let's buy strawberry bubble tea. And let's buy passion fruit bubble tea. <laughs> and let's buy lime bubble tea. Ooh. Okay. So now I have all of these drinks. Beautiful. And now it's a surprise. These business people move so fast like i'm gonna show you they're literally like at the table for a second before they have drank their whatever and they are out it is crazy um 
I don't think I need any of that, so let's do money. I am going to, I don't want any of that yet. So I'm sticking with what I had, which was green tea, oh, gray, sugar. Yeah, I don't want any of these fancy things yet. Um, Cause I'm still just showing you stuff. So let's start the day real fast. Okay. It's cooking. What would you like, ma'am? Earl Grey with sugar. See? So fast. So that's what happens if you like manually start it with like not a lot in there, which is fine if it's not, you don't have a lot to like worry about, but sometimes, you know, you don't got time for that. That was a normal speed. See, business great person. This business person be crazy. And bye. They're so fast. Well, are all great. Just to be safe. Because I don't know what anybody wants. All right. And there we go. Another day. So, you know, just thought that I would give you a little taste of the game. So, hope that you enjoyed seeing Copy Airman. I really had fun playing it. Um, and I might try and do a full map run at some point, just so you can see, or just purposely challenge myself and make it really hard and so you can see me fail. Um, but I just want to give you a little, little tour of Coffee Caravan, and I definitely think that you should play it. So download it. It's on Steam. You'll love it. All right. That's Lindsay signing off.